Hi guys, and welcome to the Family Fudge. Today I'm sharing four super cute, but really easy breakfast ideas that your kids are going to love. Before we jump right in, I would love it if you would hit that red subscribe button and go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. Now let's get started. Now I love making food art, you guys, and I had so much fun on my last breakfast video that I wanted to make another one. Now I'm a huge fan of just about anything with a panda on it. I think they're so cute, and today's breakfast is no exception. I'm gonna start by adding some Greek yogurt to a bowl, and this is vanilla Greek yogurt. Once I have the yogurt in there, I'm gonna go ahead and smooth it out as best I can. And now for the panda face. I'm actually using several slices of a black plum. This is a really tasty plum I just found at the grocery store. So I have two large oval shapes for his ears, two smaller oval shapes for his eyes. I'm gonna place them right there in the center. And for his nose, I cut out a triangle piece. And to make it a little bit easier to get in the bowl, I'm using my chopsticks. That way I don't stick my fingers in the yogurt. And now for his little mouth, I have a little sliver of plum, and I tried my best to make a smiley face. Next, I took a Ziploc bag and I added a little bit of yogurt to the bag and I cut off the tip. That way I could easily make a little dot for his eye. There's one and the other, and you can get really creative with these eyes. You can make them big or small, you can make them look happy or angry, it's all up to you. Now in the center of his eye, I cut out a teeny tiny piece of plum and I'm gonna place it right in the center. Again, this is not hard at all, it does take a little bit of time. And there you have it, I thought this turned out so cute and the plum is really tasty with the vanilla yogurt. I like to serve this with granola on the side. Next up, I'm making some pancakes, but not just any pancakes, beautiful ones. For this breakfast, you need pancakes of several different sizes. I have one large one in the center I'm using two medium-sized ones. Those are gonna be part of his wings and a smaller circle for his head. I'm also using two little pieces like this for his antennas. I'll get to those later. And then I have two little Cheerios to go on top. So here's how it all comes together. I'm gonna to take these circle parts and cut out a little piece on each so I can fit them right on the body for the wings. Then I place the antenna on top, and then the Cheerios go right here. Super cute, really easy. I'm gonna go ahead and trim off the bottom just a little bit so that it comes to a point, like our bee has a little stinger. And now it's time to decorate him. I'm gonna use some lemon curd. I got this at Trader Joe's. It's very English and traditional, but I love it. It's very sticky though, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a glob in the center and then spread it out. Now, if you don't like lemon curd, you don't have to use it at all. I just thought it would be fun and yellow for our bee. Once that is all smoothed out, it's time to add the blueberries. I'm gonna put these in a stripe right across here, one in the center and one in the bottom. So this is a lemon blueberry flavored pancake, which is a great combination. And there you have it, super simple and easy. The kids will love it. Next up, I have a breakfast I know my son Jackson will love because it's dinosaur themed. To make this delicious dino, you're gonna need several waffles, and these are pre-made waffles. I'm keeping it easy here. And I've left one hole, and the other one I've cut into a little face shape or a head shape. And I've made sure to leave lots of space for our dinosaur's mouth to be open. Just like that. The large waffle is going to become the body of the dinosaur. Of course, we already made the head. And then I cut a little piece for his tail. For his legs, I just cut out two little rectangles. So cute. And now for the strawberries. I've sliced them like this so that it looks kind of like scales on the back of the dinosaur. So I'm just gonna arrange the strawberries like that. For the dinosaur's eye, I'm gonna add a slice of banana and I'm gonna add a blueberry right on top. And then for the grass, I'm gonna cut up some kiwi and put it right on the bottom of the plate. And there you have it. That is awesome. A delicious dino. And last but not least, I have a fantastic smoothie bowl. We love smoothie bowls at our house. 
For this smoothie, I'm using a triple berry mix. This is frozen, I get this at Costco. It makes excellent smoothies. To this, I'm going to add about a half a cup of plain vanilla yogurt, and then I'm gonna add some almond milk as well. And you just wanna add a little bit because I want my smoothie to be on the thicker side. Now once I have that all blended up, it's time to add it to our bowl. Now I wanted this smoothie bowl to be sort of blue, but it came out a little bit purple, but that's okay. I wanted it blue because I wanted it to look like water, like the ocean, because I'm gonna make a cute little fish to go on top. And I'm going to use peaches. So I have one little slice of peach for the body of the fish, and then I'm gonna cut out a little crescent piece for the tail of the fish. This is super easy, anyone can do this, and it's not hard at all. For the fish eye, I'm gonna add a slice of banana with a blueberry on top. I'm gonna to add half of a blueberry for his little lips. And then at the bottom, I'm going to add some granola. That's gonna be like the sandy bottom of the ocean. Then I'm also gonna add a few pieces of kiwi, and that's gonna be like kelp in the ocean. Super cute. I cut out some bananas to look like air bubbles. And there you have it, it came out so cute and it's gonna be very tasty. Let me know in the comments down below out of all of these cute breakfast ideas, which one was your favorite? Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.